distinguished co-workers in government, friends, ladies, and gentlemen. Good morning. I am glad to be back from my visits to Thailand and Malaysia. In Bangkok, I paid respect to a true friend of the Philippines and the Filipino people, His Majesty King Bonipon Adun Dayet. His Majesty will, will be remembered by his dedicated efforts to foster goodwill, mutual respect, and friendship between our nations and peoples. In Putrajaya, Malaysia, I met with Prime Minister Najib Razak. Our discussion focused on the need to further strengthen the Philippines-Malaysia partnership for a safe and secure and stable region. As ASEAN brothers and maritime nations, we recognize that cooperation between our countries with other stakeholders is key to ensure that our sea lanes are not used for illegal purposes or criminal activities. Earlier this year, we made headway in, with the signing of the framework for trilateral arrangement between Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines on immediate measures to address security issues in the maritime areas of common interest. With Malaysia, we committed to explore all available options to ensure greater collaboration in the joint coordinated pursuit, the interdiction and the arrest of criminal and terrorists plying the waterways between our countries. The Philippines, as always, will be unremitting in the efforts to address criminality on land, at sea, and between borders. We also committed to sustain the efforts to achieve just and lasting peace in Mindanao. As we proceed with the implementation phase of our peace process, Malaysia will continue to play an important role. The Philippines is ready to work with Malaysia and all partners interested in securing for generations of the Mindanaoans and Filipinos a future free from fear and conflict. Malaysia continues to be a partner for growth and development. My message to business leaders is clear. The Philippines is open for business and we will provide environment that is conducive for industries to thrive. Business leaders express confidence in many of the opportunities for investment in the Philippines. They showed keen interest in infrastructure, mass transportation development, building of regional centers, <coughs> joint ventures in agribusiness, halal certified products, and high value post harvest processing facilities. I tasked the Department of Trade and the industry to follow through and ensure trade and investment with our 10th largest trade partner as it continues to grow, and I refer to Malaysia. As neighbors and friends, we have shared responsibility to ensure that common dignity, particularly the vulnerable, the weak, and the elderly, and the youth is upheld. This is one era that shall bring our nations and governments together. As incoming chair of the ASEAN, we count on Malaysia's support for our efforts to build a stronger, rule-based, and people-centered ASEAN. My visit to Malaysia showed that there are more areas of mutual interest that will bring our countries closer and make us work for the achievement of common goals. During these two visits, I strive to enhance our relation with our neighboring countries and explore more opportunities to further advance the best interest of our nation. As I have done in the past, I also met 
with the Filipino community in Malaysia. I was humbled by their warm welcome. I reassured them that government will utilize all the resources at its disposal to make our country safe and prosperous, place for them to better appreciate and experience once they finally come home to reunite and live with their families. Maraming salamat po. I can take a few <laughs> questions. The first question, Mr. President, is from Jem Avancena of TV5. Good morning, Mr. President. Welcome po. Sir, uh, napag-usapan niyo ba ng Prime Minister ng Malaysia yung about sa MRT project nila for the Philippines? And kumusta ho yung meeting? Ano pa ho yung mga napag-usapan niyo? Well, most would uh, really be focused on infrastructure for the agribusiness. Mm -hmm. Lahat yan, and uh, there, there, there's a, very, uh, a lot of projects on deck. So I, I would say that uh, it would keep our country busy in the coming months. But uh, uh, by the way, I have to remind you that uh, uh, if there will be a lot of projects on the streets, there will also be commotion and sometimes derailment of the, the traffic situation. But I said that is just a warning, and uh, uh, people will continue to complain. But then, wala uh, namang uh, dito. There's always a drawback. But I'm sure that uh, with the implementation in the coming year, and I would place it that maybe next year early. Kasama we would have seen the developments. Kasama na ho yung sa MRT project nila po. Ano? Kasama ho yun. Uh, yan ho ang mauna that talaga because uh, it involves mass, mass transport, moving people. How about po dun sa ano, may plano ba sila to invest on palm oil? Ang tagal na nga yan eh. Problem actually, let me be very frank. Noon una may pumasok na dito. And as a matter of fact, they sent their agronomist, the guy who examines the soil for its appropriate uh, plant. Ang nangyaro sa Pakibato, uh, para wala na tayong bulahan dito. Is, uh, the Malaysians were ready at the time. And after a positive uh, finding, uh, uh, suitability sa soil, what happened is that suddenly, eh, ang mga NPA, alam mo na, yung banners nila everywhere, uh, uh, just uh, simply no to palm oil. And I asked them, bakit? Sabi nila, sabi na ng mga expert, ang problema kasi nitong... Maraming experts, lalo na sa internet. Every time Dick and Harry, who knows about a little of everything and everything so little, eh, may sarisariling Malaysia has prospered. It has not lost its moisture or water. Hindi ko talaga malaman na kung bakit. Ako naman, even with my assurance, for as long as there is always the threat, then we cannot do anything. Ganon no ang nangyari dyan, ma'am. But they will try again. And again, I will make sure uh, to meet the experts of the world about water under the soil and ask us to explain why it is so. Kasi yung sa Agusan banda I think it's Del Sur matagal ng palm oil dyan sa ano, it has proven to be a good source of revenue and uh, a source of livelihood for the people there to delay based on something which is not really accepted by everybody and uh, to the detriment also of uh, government plans to alleviate. It's 
standard of living ng tao, eh, nakabuhol-buhol eh. I really do not know, but uh, I think somebody should talk that to them again. Maybe this would be one project that we can ask about doon sa Oslo. Because uh, while waiting for the final result, ano man yan, kailangan natin na uh, we have to improve the lives of the people. Uh. Ako actually, kung ang sitwasyon ganito lang, pati pag-alis ko, I will consider myself really a total failure. If I cannot improve by even a few bars, not just above, there's one thing for me to do is tutuhanan ito ha. Either resign or uh, give it to somebody else. Masyadong mabigat ang problema at kung marami namang aktor, eh, di kayo na lang. Totoo yan. I, I'm not so, I have no illusions about this presidency. I will work because I was elected. Why I run, I cannot tell you why. I'm even asking myself. But I'm trying to do my very best. But if I think that I'm a failure or I cannot hack it, might as well give it to somebody else. There is no dishonor to be honest to oneself. Ms. Rita Reyes of GMA. Hi, sir. Uh, hey, welcome back, sir. Uh, sir, um, I know that you've already said your congratulations to uh, President-elect uh, Trump, but may I ask you if, it's, if, if you're comfortable whenever people compare you with him? Compare him with Trump? Yes. Sus Mario Sep, ma'am. I, 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 I'm just a small uh, molecule in this uh, planet. Uh, he is uh, now the president of the most powerful country in the world. I am just uh, a, a, a president uh, struggling to barely to just above the water. Ang um, ano natin? I, 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 I say I would, we have to worry about uh, ourselves uh, first. But uh, comparison, no, I, I, I don't think we... Well, what we share in common maybe is the passion to serve. And it, it, it's given. When, you're, when you run for a public office, you're expected to... Sometimes it goes with the, you know... Uh, sa maloob mo, mag, uh, despondent at times, sometimes uh, just plain, uh, well, maybe uh, tired. Uh, but most of the time, it is always, uh, hindi kontinto kung I have to push more. Mm -hmm. Sir, what is your anticipation of the expected change in uh, foreign policy? that will be implemented by the incoming uh, U.S. President? No, I will pursue what I've started. I am not into the habit of uh, reneging on my word. And my partnership with uh, China and the rest of the ASEAN remains. I will sail the state of the nation uh, and it should be pushed uh, by the wind of self-interest only. So last the self-interest of our nation. Last question for me. Are you, have you committed to attending the APEC next week? That's, uh, we've been talking about it in the airplane. Uh, it's a long way across the globe. Uh, even the, it's a long haul and it will kill you, kill you. By the time you reach the, I will decide. Uh, I ask, totoo to ha? Eh, sabi ko kay uh, Secretary Doresa, pati kay Secretary Yasai, sabi niya, si KJ, uh, ayaw ko part. Tapos sabi rin ni Junya Yasai, Hindi pwede yan. Kailangan nandoon ka. 
Kasi dapat mayroon kang pakikitaan na tao doon. Sino? May, may binigay siya na pangalan. So, Is it going to be the outgoing president, sir, of U.S.? Who? Is it going to be President Obama for a possible bilateral meeting? Uh, no, I, I think... Uh, hindi, talagang kung, kung kaya lang sana nila without my presence, if my presence is indispensable, I'd rather not kasi malayo. I hate long hauls. Talagang hindi ko kaya yung... Uh, ka malayo masyado, mag-ikot kami sa, sabi nila, ang ruta namin is uh, through New Zealand because if you may the Pacific, ang point of entry dyan sa North America is America, United States. And ang exit mo could be Kennedy Airport, New York, or Miami. Uh, wala akong nakikita ang view doon. Mas yung Auckland, maybe then uh, ang problema, baka magtuloy-tuloy yan sa South Pole. Sila na lang muna mauna doon kasi malamig. Well, really, I, I said, I just a joke. Alam mo, pagka gano'n, naano talaga ako kasi ang diba, bunga ako. Ah. Haluan talaga ng, hindi ko ba sinasadya. Pero It's, it's actually the long haul that uh, worries me. Thank you, sir. Ruth Dumandan of RGMA. Morning, President. Um, I'd like to ask your stand or your position on the coconut levy fund. It should be returned to the people. The law is actually clear. There is a committee uh, composing of uh, uh, the executive department, tapos uh, yung Congress. At saka, a few representatives from the private sector. My position is very clear noon pa. I want the money returned immediately to the people. But the problem is, ang decision nagsabi, you cannot determine anymore the many coconut farmers who were affected at the time or who were prejudiced. So ang ginawa, uh, it, the court... Uh, Supreme Court to, uh, made some suggestion of how to go about it. Improving the quality of the coconuts, uh, funding uh, projects related to the coconut industry. Pero yung pera, medyo malabo na yun. The Supreme Court said so. Pero kung sa uli, I want it returned. By way of uh, building uh, institutions, agencies that would enhance the coconut industry. Asap ako dyan kasi pera ng tao yan. Pati kami nag-contribute dyan sa levy na yan. Yung pamilya namin. Okay. My mother's uh, coconut, not ours. Okay, second question. I'd like to follow up on Trump, uh, President. Um, how do we foresee relationship Philippines and America with Trump's uh, administration? Would as it be is. friendly? Um, as is. Uh, we are friends with uh, an ally. We have uh, an RPUS uh, military pact that was uh, 1954, I think, vintage, uh, that would bind us uh, in the matter of uh, saying whether or not you side with this or that. Uh, but uh, I do not foresee any war in the next uh, 100, in the next 100 years. So we will maintain our uh, cooperation of uh, the committee. The, the, the respect should be there, and uh, uh, in all uh, matters that would affect our two countries, especially the treaties that we signed uh, with them. Uh, and there's so many agreements, uh, they, they, we, it will be honored, all of these things. Trisha Terada of CNN Philippines. 
Good morning, sir. Sir, um, Secretary Lorenzana mentioned that um, the, the implementation of EDGA will push through. Are you confirming this, sir, or will uh, and will there be limitations to the implementation of EDGA? No, I said because by the time we were, uh, I talked to the Secretary of National Defense, mm -hmm. they were na, na firm up na nila ang arrangement, mm -hmm. and I said I do not want. Uh, no, pahiya ang Pilipinas. Well, of course, not, not so much because I was already vocal against it, but uh, in difference to the Secretary of Defense. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, oh, sige, but this will be the last time. And I expect that uh, by the time that I end my term, I do not want to see any, any, not only U.S., even African or Chinese or whatever, Russian. I do not want to see foreign military troops in my country. Mm -hmm. Mr. Can we see clarification also for the continuation of uh, military training? Will this uh, still exclude uh, military exercises? And sir, what prospects do we see that now we have a new president when it comes to military ties? Do we see reunited ties with um, uh, President uh, Trump? Winning? Let us put aside Trump here. Mm -hmm. Actually, in every military exercise, whatever, mm -hmm. it is always America who learns much. Kukunti lang yung sa Pilipino. Kasi, kanya may yung palawan. Ano mo, i-training mo dyan. The one thing that really is, uh, that bothers you is that yung communications nila, pati state of the art, because they are rich, maybe they were advanced in time, on space, uh, ano yung kanila, sophisticated. Ours, they do not, they are not compatible. Ngayon sila pwedeng mag-connect-connect dyan, and even the matter of communication. You'll have to uh, use the basics noong nalaman nila. But the uh, United States uh, is using uh, an altogether new gadget. Uh, we have not been provided by them. It's expensive. But I'm looking forward to other countries. I could get it from Japan, China. I could get it from Russia or uh, the Middle East, uh, Israel. Hindi na kailangan tayo mag-ano kasi hindi na pwede tayo maghingi ng maghingi you know, uh, this, this, uh, this paradigm of hand-me-down, and I tell the military and the police, stop it. Kung wala ni bayonet na lang, hantuhan kumbat. We, we always, we go there to study and uh, our bright boys there, guys, our soldiers, make so many you know, advanced projections. Yung mga thesis nila, yung, nakinabang, hindi naman tayo. Actually, ha, we do not need anybody to train the Filipino soldier. By themselves, they are warriors and capable of a conventional war. Kung rebellion, rebellion lang, I do not expect any war against any in any other nation. Terrorism, uh, drugs, kaya, makailangan niya ng turuplano nga. Yan lang naman ang pinoproject ko. The most serious is, uh, if it comes, itong terrorism. Uh, but, uh, what is bugging us now, the, uh, is really Andruga. And, uh, I cannot tell you my next move, but I will uh, try to invite and, and uh, ask everybody to participate. Yung pinakita ko dito na ganun kakapal, hindi ko kaya yun. I mean, if I use the contemporary rules, constitution and all the way, hindi ko talaga kaya. Kasi gusto mong patayin. Maubusan ka ng panahon. Hindi mo kaya patayin lahat. 
not you know, if you do that whether it is justified or not the human rights commission of the united nations will always be there and uh, i said kung habulin mo naman lahat remember i am warning you again we have become a narco politic uh, nation many of those involved are barangay captains halos lahat nakikinabang kasi police mga official meron pa to the level of uh, mga hanggang mga anong tawag ng mga sup, 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 bakit ba tinanggal yung dating remember me uh, secretary and donor to ask congress to balik tayo doon sa police corporal police court. sino bang gumawa nitong SPO1 instead na regular na police ginawang special police special SP1, SP2, SP3. Sino yan si SP? Esperanza? Doon nata kumuha ng... Gago yung... No, that, that, that there should be something like... I'd like to tell government, especially the police. Kayo, do not... Uh, ayaw ko lang masaktan kayo. But may, may, may ano talaga kayo? May... You do not have a very consistent. Maganda naman yung police general, director general. Maganda naman yung police chairman. Kasi yung, tignan mo yun sila pulapo, naawa ako dyan. Kasi yung, yung siya sa, insignia ba yan? Eh, hindi nga ako nakatapos ng ROTC, kaya ang ganoon eh. Baka, ito ngayong bagong Director General, sila pula po na kaganon. Bili na naman sila ng bagong patch. Pag pasok ng ibang Director General, another administration, sila pula po, muhat siya na. Nakaganon na. <laughs> you know, I, 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 alam ko, you know, people are not idiots, you know. Filipino people, stop it. Stop it. Kay pati ang police na kaliit-liit na sweldo, magbili ng mga bagong, stop it. If you want, I will increase your salaries three-folds. Just stop it. Plus, yung corruption. It is corruption. Hintuan ninyo yan. Huwag ninyong gawain sa akong panahon. Na. And I will last you uh, a lawmaker to, to balik tayo doon sa police constable police tanong kagaya ng report ninyo ha raid conducted uh, in uh, Minorapa Pediasito Sote 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 ano tapos adot ano adot ano sot. Yeah, you know just say I, I'd like to direct you now just say Dabao del Norte the municipality of uh, Malaman na niyan. O, CIDG. Man, aid, so out, so out dito. Ban, hindi ko malam. Basahin ko yung briefer. Akala ko, asosasyon ng mga bugok itong putang inan. Basta nakakainis kayo. Pati ako nalilito kaya magtawag pa akong leche. Ano ba itong, sinong nag-ano na itong brief, ano dito? Eh, may summary ako sa lahat ng namatay pati boy itong araw na ito eh. Sino itong age soap? Let's come on na sir. Yung tinawagan ko, wala lang alam. Ay, sus, Mario Josef. You better go back to this month. Police, patrolman, constable, or whatever. And I have plans of, uh, I said, uh, if the terrorism will uh, creep in, I will maybe create, uh, instead of the South, I will uh, create the back 
Philippine Constabulary. Pearl Gahunera of Manila Standard. And it will be under the armed forces again. So, apat balik tayo sa apat. Army, Navy, Air Force, pati PC. Good morning, sir. Um, sir, you have given the, go, uh, the green lights to Malaysia to deport the around 7,000 Filipinos who were in Sabah who illegally migrated there. Yes, uh, we, this, uh, we have almost uh, an hour. Okay lang sa kanila. And I said, uh, no, no clemency, except that uh, give us time to... Uh, ang problema doon, kasi yung mga Pilipino, walang edukasyon. And uh, we cannot expect also Malaysia to absorb them because hindi sila uh, Pilipino citizens. Uh. They should be learning uh, what our history, not the history of somebody else's country. But they are there. So I will ask the uh, government to intervene. We will have to put up schools there. And uh, sa ospital naman, nakakahiya naman na puro hindi nga nakaroon. That's an added cost to them. So we will uh, ask a neutral country, maybe a neutral agency, rather, uh, WHO or whatever, to ablish the hospitals there. Pero atin ang mga tao ipadala na i-deploy natin. The nurses, kawawa eh. Kawawa yung mga tausog doon na, no? Most of them are thousands, but they are Filipinos, and they should be attended to. Last questions from Dexter Ganibe of DZMF. Mayor Meng, good tag. Sir, uh, clarification lang dun sa bubuing uh, tri, ano tawag ito? Tri, trilateral uh, arrangement or agreement yes. with uh, Indonesia and Malaysia. Paano po ang maging system nun kung uh, may hahabulin na mga kidnappers or Abu Sayyaf coming from uh, Malaysia or Indonesia at papasok sa teritoryo, paano po yung arrangement natin doon? I, I cannot talk about it. Uh, kasi uh, the Defense Secretary of uh, our country and the Ministry of Defense of Indonesia and Malaysia have yet to firm up something there. And uh, it would be good not to discuss it. Even if there's already one existing, uh, I, I would rather big off. Thank you very much. Any more questions? Uh, that would be all, Mr. President. Kauma, meron ka pa? Rita. No? Walgan. Ramihan mo para. On newspaper na naman tayo dito. Sir, last question po talaga. Sir, uh, yeah, in today's uh, Senate hearing on the killing of uh, Mayor Espinosa, the senators are convinced that the, the, the what happened was premeditated. And uh, the murder, you mean, Rabok? Yes, the yes, murder. So. Uh, and apart from that, Kerwin Espinosa will be fetched in Abu Dhabi to come back in the Philippines. And he has plenty days. to tell. Yes, yeah. according to him. Uh, how does the government plan to provide him with the security that he needs and his uh, plan, uh, his request for uh, to be provided uh, assistance? I think there's a team of uh, an NBI plus the two other officers of the PNP. Uh, I, I, I'm sure, I guarantee you, he will be brought. Takot ka, baka ihulog dyan pag uwi sa Pacific. Buksan mo pa yung purta dyan. No, he will be repatriated. I'm sure of that. Uh, they are just working. It's not that easy to extract a guy not, not illegal don't tapos uh, yeah, there, there are rules to be followed. But he will be back to face the charge. Now, in Dito's a Senate, let me state my case as the chief executive of the executive branch. I believe in the version of the police. If they, you, if they have evidence to prove otherwise, then a case should be filed against the police. But as I have said before, right at the start, very early on, sa, uh, administration go, I will protect and I will support 
the police in this drive against Shabu. As I have said, we have, we have become a narco-politic state. It is my sworn duty to preserve the generation. It is my sworn duty to see to it that we do not slide just like the other countries of the world, particularly Latin America. So walang dapat ikatakot ang mga polis. Suportado ko sila na kung sabihin nila bakit si Duterte pinasuportahan yung polis. Natural. Utos ko yun eh. <laughs> The fight against drug is mine. It was not, it was not somebody else's uh, order. I, I pushed the police to the limits. And as a matter of fact, if anybody should go to prison, I should be the one. Ako ang nag-utos eh. So I assume full legal responsibility. Ako, akin yun. So if I rat in prison, so be it. At least, ang pinangako ko sa inyo sa taong bayan, But I will stop corruption, I will stop drugs and criminality. And I said, if I lose the presidency, if it means going to jail, fine. What is important to me is my word of honor, na hindi tayo masisira as a nation. Because by then, it would be too late for everybody. Doon, mayor, nag-oath-taking sa umaga, pagkahapon, patay. Ang admiral sa Mexico, pinutula ng ulo. Kasi ang humihirit doon, yung marines. Why? Because they have corrupted all of the police there. And the armed forces had to utilize another unit to, to do the job for the police. I will not allow that to happen in my country. So, It is actually mine. Huwag kayong tumutok sa polis. Just wait for their explanation. Just wait for their version. In the meantime, if you run out of people to blame, look at me because I was the one who ordered the war against drug. I did not pronounce any police punitive action because that would... That is why the armed forces are into it also. Same, they will have my protection. And I assume full legal and daily responsibility. Maraming salamat po.